Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Ambitions. Hope you're having a great day today. We're in the New York distro here today. We're gonna start with this video off with just setting up our uh, deals. Uh, I wanna set up deliveries. We're gonna start to kind of take, take a step back and see, you know, a bit more of a macro picture on things, right? We're gonna take a step back and maybe play even a greater managerial role by getting ourselves prepared for just let it kind of letting this business go and letting good people run a good business for us with our with a, you know a little bit of oversight while we take on maybe new projects and so we've got the store managers over here at this big you know distro here and if we sit down at one of their desks we can begin a contract and this is Charles fashion fresh uh, now we can send maximum boxes we can send in a single delivery is 20 and the delivery fee is only $400. It used to be a thousand, I think. So I'm happy to see 400 now. So we can now set up deliveries and terms at any time from the deliveries tab within this business manager. We can choose a day that we want it to be delivered. So in this case, it's today's Tuesday. If I take a look at my inventory, I'm pretty good on inventory for a bit. I kind of don't need anything, but it's... It's likely that maybe by Thursday or so I would need a delivery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them to deliver this on Thursday. And we're going to start adding products that we want to put in here. So we're going to start with burgers. And we're going to start getting uh, let's, this, all the things that we sell in this store, right? I do wish uh, if I had a feature request for these things, just as an, uh, an ease of use thing, would be now that I've already chosen the business, the game knows what kind of products I sell here. I think it'd be nice to have the products I sell at the top of the list. Uh, I, I realized you're, you were kind of, well, actually, I don't realize that. I thought you were going alphabetical order here, but you're not. It's kind of in a somewhat random order in a way. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure how the order is selected here, but uh, having the, 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 the products that I'm already selling in this business being at the top of the list would be uh, super cool to have, I think. So these are the products we sell. There's a lot of different products, right? 20 boxes maximum, and we pay an extra 400 bucks for all these things to be delivered for us, which is why I've been doing it myself because I save 400 bucks. So uh, for burgers, let's say we want, let's say two boxes, French fries, we're gonna go through those, so we'll say three boxes. Uh, hot dogs, we're gonna go about, I think three boxes here too. The chicken kebab things, we can go with two boxes. Um, we'll have pizza delivered in two boxes. Let's go up one with the chicken. I think we're gonna sell a lot of those. Uh, the cans of soda will go four boxes and then we'll deliver, let's say two boxes of the paper bags. And this puts us up to 19. So we want one more box of something and let's have it be, honestly, oh, so we go through hot dogs and French fries, probably the most, I think is what we're going to end up selling, but we're going to have this be, I guess I'll just go one more box of the hot dogs, I guess. Okay. So this ends up being a $9,000 total price that's after the $400 delivery fee and they'll deliver it on Thursday. Okay. I think maybe we can push this back to Saturday because I'm going to add French fries now and I don't need all these boxes delivered. So we'll put it on Saturdays instead. Cool. Okay. So that's it. Uh, that's going to be our delivery. We can change that anytime. We can activate it, deactivate it, whatever we want to do uh, at any time we want to do it. And that's it. I have been tempted to get a different vehicle this one is not very efficient it's not very fast and also when i crash into things <laughs> it's going to be more expensive to fix the more expensive the base cost of the vehicle is the more expensive it is to repair and i'm at 51 percent right now so you're going to start seeing the orange numbers and little warning lights my my check engine light's going to start going um so I probably need to drive just a little bit better i guess now if i zoom out my business is over here i've been taking up like checking out my competitors and stuff right and uh, I think it's over here, actually, right here. Nope, not Grace's. It's Thrifty Threads. Wait a minute. Now, where did it go? My competitor was right here. Ah, five fries. Here it is. This is Ingrid's. This is Ingrid's business, right? This is her competitive business in this area. This is her fast food business. I think we check out the competition. Huh? Let's do a little, let's do a little corporate espionage. It's not really that. You're just you're just going into their business. Uh, but yeah, let's just, uh, just check out Five Fries and see what she's doing in this business. Now, it's it's closed. She doesn't open until 11. Oh, well, that's... I guess that we'll have to come back and do that, huh? All right, fine. Didn't plan that out very well, did I? Uh, one thing, though, we need to get is the fry machines. We have $11,000. That's going to allow me, I believe, to buy two fry machines. 
and two friars would be great. Also, I have uh, recruitment continuing. Uh, Rosalinda is training to 47% right now, and I have new candidates coming in from Anderson Recruitment. So Ray Serta is on the list. He starts at 45%. He's got a 20% cleaning as well. So he's one of the one of the better like starting recruits. And he'll come in if I don't negotiate and have him raise his wage. Because that's basically what negotiation does in this game. As far as I've as far as my experience goes, you hit this button, you plan on paying more than that. <laughs> that seems to be what it is. So um I think we're just going to hire him because he starts at 45 and 20. So we're going to hit hire on him. And it's another full-time employee. I think I'd like to get him on the schedule so that I can have more people here at this 9 to 12 slot. And I'd also like to extend my hours a little bit too. If I look at my insight for my business and I hit yesterday here, we can see that the it's it's really up there at 9 o'clock. Right when we open, it's, it's up there. And then it kind of comes in, you know, for lunch over here. And then it's a little bit lighter in this side over here. So it's not as critical perhaps that we get more here, but this is 20. Okay. And we're, it looks like we're maybe slamming up against the wall. This could be because at the end of the day, there's usually only one person on the cash register. It's possible that that's the case. I don't know that, but if I can open up earlier, that'd be cool too. So having more employees would allow me to have extended hours, which means I can sell more, uh, product. So go to the schedule. We're going to want to get Ray Serta on the schedule. And I'm thinking, I mean, it's nine o'clock right now. We're open right now. If I can get Ray, Maggie wants to be part-time. So let's, let's try this. So Ray has currently 18 hours. We'll put him over like this, I guess. We'll get him working in the morning. That's 26. And then Friday, we'll put him on the schedule over here. And that will give him 34, which gives him that full-time slot. Okay, good. So now his mood won't deteriorate like super bad. Okay, so my destination currently, we're going to keep this, I think. We're just going to keep that as a destination. I want to go check out the competition, but um, I'm going to go here is where I'm going. is the appliance store to buy the the, uh, the fry, the fry vats, fry machines. And uh, this is going to allow us, of course, to sell French fries. All right, I bought a single fry vat for 4400 We'll see what the capacity on this thing is. So we'll go ahead and place the fryer uh, right back here, I guess, for now. I'm going to reorganize this stuff. Uh, as soon as everything's like placed and I can see how much space things take up, then I can reorganize things and make it look really good. So I'm just going to place that down. It gets French fries put in it immediately. So let's check out our business manager really quick. And it's still at 30. Really cool. So French fries gives you 30 capacity. Excellent. So one fryer is all I needed. Perfect. And we'll just immediately begin to sell French fries now. I need to get more cabinets and stuff too, uh, so I can wrap things around. I'll probably, it looks like spacing wise, I maybe need four more. And we'll probably be good to go. Maybe not four because I think the, the ice cream thing, I'm probably going to put up front like customer facing. So I may only need as many as one more. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, I need to get more furniture for it over here too. And then we only have the two accent walls. If I take a look at my business's grade though. The interior is 100%, so I don't really need to color. I don't really need to do anything with these walls. These walls are technically fine. I just needed the accent walls over here, I guess. So uh, that's it. That's all we'll do. So interior score is good to go, as is. And uh, now it's just a matter of, you know, getting the product and everything. So what other products do we want to sell in here is kind of the next question. I, want, I know I want to get ice cream, which I have enough money right now to actually go and do that. Yeah, I do have the money for that. Um, I, I I ran here. I didn't uh, drive here. I liked my parking spot, and I didn't want to move in case I needed another fryer. But, you know, I've got 6800 bucks. I can get ice cream. It just means I would need to have the delivery that's being taking, that's taking place. You know, that delivery that we just made in the beginning of the video. I'd need to add ice cream to it. And I kind of just want to get some stability here. So like the ice cream counter would be a nice idea. Salad bar would be another thing we could put in the restaurant. Uh, I don't know what coffee machines necessarily being needed, but they are expensive, man. Twelve and a half thousand for a coffee machine. We might love open up like an actual coffee shop, but selling coffee at our restaurant is still a pretty good idea. So, I mean, we'll we'll take a look at it, I guess. But, uh, you know, while I'm here, I'll just grab two more shelves. We'll we'll definitely use them at some point. But I, I think I'm going to hold off on buying the ice cream because it, it complicates things with my deliveries. And I'm trying to kind of get things to where they're a bit more hands off 
uh, on that front. So, yeah. So with 4,400 bucks, these guys are open now. I want to go check out the competition, see how their store is laid out. Whether they're, are they big? Is it a, is it a big place? Is it a, one of the smaller places? You know, how much business can they really bring in? Right? So I want to take a look. So we're going to go for a little bit of a drive here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't need to cut, right? We can, you guys like driving through the city? Would you rather I cut all my drives? I mean, this, this guy has done a lot of work on, on the city, right? Like the, the buildings and the streets and everything. And they've done a lot of work on this stuff and it looks pretty good. I, I like how immersive it is with all the, the signs and the different artwork and stuff. It's pretty nice. Things are coming together here. Oh, it's, it's opening at 11. You silly. I, I don't know why I thought it was 10. I, I saw 11 before. Well, whatever. You know what we'll do? Here, here's what we'll do. We'll sleep in our car for a tiny bit. Although sleeping in your car does reduce your mood. Even if it's a very tiny amount, though. Even if it's just like, yeah, 24 minutes. Does that actually reduce my mood? It does. Yeah. Yeah, 19 hours left. Wow. A 19 hour reduction in mood for a 24 minute nap. Well, we know for the future then. <laughs> All right. We don't, I mean, I have enough stuff with my happiness that doing well in my happiness anyway. By the way, did you see this? We have exercise, positive revenue, all these things, but then uh, watch TV, watch in the park, all these things, completed personal goals. So I haven't shown all of these because they kind of tick in at random times. And sometimes I'm like not recording and sometimes I'm, you know, in between cuts for you guys, but right. These personal goals keep getting hit just gradually as you, as you grow, right? Weekly goal of 10,000 from one business, we could in weekly income of 50,000 for one business. We get reach at least hundred customers in a day for one business, 250 customers in a day for one business is what we've already gotten. 50% of any skill for one employee. I have one that has a 65% uh, customer service rating right now. So like you get these little personal goals and they help you with your percentages and stuff too, as you go. So, all right, well, this is a, a small quaint little place. I don't know how I feel about the table being like clipping through the wall like that. Like you can see it's around from this angle, but you, uh, the other sense of it is like, you could also say maybe this table was, you know, custom made to go against that wall and just be that shape. So like, I'm, I'm mixed on my feelings on that. <laughs> I'm just saying like, it could have worked. I like the theme. Everything's pretty consistent with its coloring and you had the square table right here and you know, just a couple of tables. It's a really small place. I like how they have a television in here. I've been thinking about doing that. And then there's these couple of picture frames. They're actually quite large. Uh, the large picture frames are there. Uh, they sell burgers. They have salad bar. They've got sodas. And that's kind of looks like it's it. Yeah, that's the only things they sell are just soda, salad, and burgers. So overall, I would say this business is really not that competitive with me. I think we're, we're fine. I have a lot more product offerings than they do. I certainly am going to have a higher volume of customers than they do. So I'm thinking Ingrid is, uh, yeah, I'm thinking Ingrid's not going to be all that big of a deal when it comes to the restaurants. I wonder what her biggest business is. Like, what does she make the most money on? I'm going to maybe attack that. <laughs> Just pick a fight. Uh, Ingrid. So weekly income is how I want to sort this. So yeah, her web development agency is losing her money. That's interesting. So her best business is actually a hairdresser. Eddie's Natural Cuts, which is just down the street. Wow, it's the next building over, right? Yeah, right here. Let's uh, let's check out Eddie's Natural Cuts, right? Maybe we'll open up a hairdresser. I mean, I, I kind of want to, I don't know, I kind of want to pick a fight with Ingrid now. <laughs> uh, we can come just like come right on into her territory with the barbershop kind of thing here. All right, let's take a look. Okay. Hey, this, look, this place looks really cool. I like this divider. I saw these in the, in the stores when we were looking at furniture and I am definitely interested in getting a lot of these, but I like how things are laid out here. There's the, these different hairdresser chairs all around here with the mirrors and stuff. Yeah. I like that picture frames. You have to have hair care products to maybe try to sell. You got the head washing stations, but it's mostly just a bunch of people sitting around. So I probably wouldn't have that many. I'm not sure. 
And then, uh, yeah, we have, uh, I wonder what... Oh, you can't get a haircut. Soda can and hair care products. Interesting. So I can't get a haircut? No? Really? That's not in the game? Change my hairstyle? Oh, here it goes. Okay. I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they would charge me $93 for a haircut. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Unpaid changes uh, won't be performed. Confirmed. I got it. Wow. So you hit the... You click the mirror. No? Oh, I get it. You know what probably happened is this chair was already getting claimed at the time. Maybe that's what happened when I clicked it. But yeah, so I go to the chair if I want a haircut. Uh, the head washing stations, I guess, are... I guess three of them are getting pretty... Like, they're all getting used. All right, and then there's like a little coffee machine over here. Can I not... Can I not have any? I can't have any. I can't... I can't even watch your television. Oh, okay. I see how it is, Ingrid. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, I mean, it's cool to like look at the competition and like sort of analyze how different businesses are. And you can go into all these different buildings. They're all... Except the ones that are for rent and stuff, right? The, any valid business in the game that is, you know, open, has opening hours, which is a whole bunch of them, they all have products that you can buy. They all have unique interiors. And it's just, I don't know, it makes the city feel alive. There's so many games out there that are in this genre that just have buildings you can't go into. You can't see the interiors, but this game is, it just generates them. And I really appreciate that. So this is kind of interesting. I've got the speaker right here, right? This little tiny speaker, but I've hidden it in the planner box. So if you move the speaker, it won't let you place it there. And you can rotate it all you want, but you can't place it in that spot. But if you move the planner box out of the way and then position the speaker where you want it like that, it will let you put the planner box on top of it. So it kind of hides the speaker, which I like. So I'm going to... I'm going to do this. I'm just going to rotate it so it faces this way. It might be a little bit less noticeable there. And it just kind of barely sticks out, but it's it's working. I wonder if I can do this. Oh, okay. I like it. It's all nested in. Please don't change it. <laughs> He's probably like, oh, that's not intended functionality. You can't do that. I'm going to patch that. No. Let me hide the speaker. <laughs> ah. All right, so we're selling fries, we're selling pizza, we're selling kebabs, we're selling all the things. I don't really want to get more complicated with that business until I've got some sort of logistics setup going. And so the next thing we're going to do, I've got 12,000 bucks, okay? And to really do this effectively, we're going to need another vehicle. I need to buy another car, basically. Uh, but the other thing that I need is I need to start setting up partnerships with shipping suppliers, bulk, you know, bulk orders, things like that, right? We can do small orders. We can do big orders. Right now, we're having that delivery on Thursday. Um, I would like to get at least started with communicating with these guys over here at the harbor, all right? I want to, like, start reaching out and getting some of these partnerships going so that we could potentially start bringing in Excuse me. That was targeted. Ingrid's goons is what that is. That's Ingrid's goons. All right. I was an innocent bystander. I can't believe that happened. What the heck was that guy thinking? Look at all the boats and stuff, too. I want to get going with the boats. I like how every single parking spot is, is full. Like They just flat out filled every spot. Crap. Oh, there's this one over here. So I'm going to park right here. I guess. Right here. Yeah. All right. It's free parking here. Good. So we're down by the harbor. And uh, we've got Seaside Internationals. There's a couple of different ones here. So there's Seaside Internationals. And then over here, we've got the uh, 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 Ocean United Imports. We have Bluestone Imports here. And then also on Friday, which I don't plan to do, we have the Casino. Which I could look at, you know, maybe some gambling, but I'd like to really get my income going before I worry about gambling, I think. Although, if you're good enough, I guess one could argue that that is a good source of income, right? All right. So, yeah, Seaside International's here, and then Jet Cargo Imports over there. So, I, I think we'll start... I, I don't exactly remember what they sell, although it will show me here. Okay. So, Seaside International's is what I'm looking to get a partnership with. They have pizzas, burgers... Uh, the french fries the soda cans they got everything that we sell 
in our store, right? So we want to partner with Seaside Internationals. So I'm just going to walk in <clears throat> and uh, see if we can't, you know, talk them into working with us. And import manager says, I'm sorry, but without a warehouse, you can't deliver. We can't deliver goods to you. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Okay. So first I need a warehouse. So there's a lot of different warehouses in the area and the details that matter that you can see at a glance are going to be square footage. And you can get an idea for the layout of that building just by clicking it by seeing the code that's right here in parentheses. All right. So this is either an I1 or an L1. I'm not sure. Uh, but this, this one right here is going to have two parking spots. So if I go in here and I see a preview, we're going to see two parking spots and that's what I'm looking for. I want a bigger one. Now this one's only 131 bucks, which is actually pretty cheap. I think for that, if you see H one, that means it has one parking spot and you can also kind of tell that by the square footage. But if you click in this one, it's got one spot for vehicles and that's $72 a day. We are looking for an I one or an L1. I'm not sure what, which one that is. I, I want to say it's I because the capital, these letters are all capitalized. So I'm not sure why this would go lowercase. So it's probably I one. And, uh, we have a couple of different options here. There are different prices though. So this one's 231. Uh, this one over here is 206, but they're the same square footage and the same layout. So like there's, there's really no reason to get one that's more expensive, right? Um, so I'm thinking we go with this one over here at 46 fourth street. It's 131 bucks. It's going to cost me, uh, 4,000 as an initial deposit and then 1200 for the, all the electrical hookups and stuff. And then finally this, so my total payment to get this warehouse going is $5,261. It's pretty high up there, but my profit margins go way up if I can bring uh, items in, in massive bulk. Okay. I think what would probably be a good idea in this situation is for me to work on the, the thing I have going right now, because I only have one business, it's a big kind of upfront investment to get to warehouses. And then these orders that you do from seaside internationals, these orders need to be large. Like you're not buying a small amount of stuff here. You're bringing in like, you know, fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 worth of goods. And so like you have to kind of need your infrastructure to be that way. There's, there's a minimum order number is what I'm getting at here. Are you guys all, I mean, don't get me wrong. I know you're stopping for a red light, but you're stopping for a red light. You know what I mean? Like you're, you guys are okay. Yeah. Well, I got, we got two. Oh, oh, he's moving. Okay. You're trying to merge over. Are you trying to get over here too? Is that why you guys are deciding to just block every lane of traffic right now? All right, go ahead. Are you trying to come? I want to know. Is that what you're trying to do? You're not, ju you're just not moving. Okay. I'll just bye bye. <laughs> I don't know what the heck's going on there. I wish I had a horn button. Is there a horn button? Oh man. I want a horn button. There's gotta be a horn button. Where, where's the controls? There's gotta be a horn button. Come on. You're driving in the city. You gotta have a horn. There's no horn button. Are you kidding me, Jonas? Oh my God. Well, feature request like urgent ASAP highest, highest priority feature request. Beep, beep. So I was just leaving my apartment and, uh, I was going to just kind of go about my day make sure the delivery for today, right? Today's Thursday. I want to make sure the delivery goal all goes well. And this little pip comes into my employees tab and I want to get to candidates. And apparently. I don't know what the story is. I stay out of his personal life, but apparently AJ's wife, Irene, just he is she just needs to, i don't know maybe aj's you know maybe the peterson and son you know furniture thing office supply store is just not doing well i don't know they got the big building now it's probably more expensive they didn't anticipate it you know anyway they apparently need to get another job because irene wants to work for me she's willing to take 23 bucks an hour i mean who am i to deny her you know her i mean th they've been so good to me and providing all this stuff for me i need to help them out i think so uh we're not negotiating. <laughs> Absolutely not. Because uh, then she'll want 25. We're just going to hire her. So welcome aboard Irene. We're going to get uh, Irene Peterson to 
have uh, yeah configured to that uniform. There we go. And then uh, we are going to look at the customers over time. Yo, boom. Heck yes. Look at we're slamming our maximum here, here, here. Uh, we are now open from 7 to 10, I believe. Yeah, 7 to 10 or 7 to 9. What is it? 7 to 10. Yep. So good days ahead. Uh, so Irene, you want to work Friday? We got a spot available for you right there. Boom. Done. You can work Friday. Uh, now, I believe she has something that she wants. No evening shifts. Ooh, nice to have. No evening shifts. I can help you with that. See a Ray. See how Ray is going to... Yeah, see, see Ray is... Uh, he's going to work here instead. Okay. Irene can go ahead and work the morning shift. There you go. Uh, Saturdays. Let's uh, click kick Ingrid to the back side of this shift right over here. I'll pop Irene right here. You can uh, be right there. Extend Sharon one hour that day just to kind of do that. I mean, I don't want to min max like where everybody's working, but it's fine. Uh, eventually, we're, we are going to get an HR department, right? And then HR managers can deal with our scheduling and, you know, people taking their sick days and things like that. Uh, we can have all that stuff dealt with anyway. Uh, so she's good to go now. And she has got all of her all of her stuff. I have a couple of gaps in my schedules, though. So I kind of want to maybe fill those. Maybe, uh, eh. I think it'll shift Sharon around. I'll go about like this then with Irene there. So that's 23 hours a week for Irene, but she's still got that evening shift thing, doesn't she? Let's shift you over like this then. Pop you in like that. All right, there we go. So everybody's happy. Green check marks all around. Good. Welcome to the team, Irene. It's going to be a pleasure to have you. Uh, okay, so let's check a look at our stock really quick too, because again, that delivery is coming and we have to make sure we have enough money. I'm at 27,000. I definitely have enough money. We're making 12 and a half K a day. Uh, pretty easy. Actually, let's check a look at our... One second, please. <clears throat> You're just a little too intense. All right. This one. This one will work. I don't think I'll get speech blocked by this one. This is a very casino-ish. I feel like I'm in Vegas. This wouldn't work. Okay. So uh, let's just check inventory really quick here. Running out of soda cans, right? Getting a little low on pizza. Chicken kebab skewers are still fine-ish. Burgers are getting a little low. Hot dogs. Everything's getting kind of getting a little bit low, right? We don't need paper bags. We don't need them. So I'm going to take and adjust the order before it comes in. Because it should be coming. Oh, it's coming in Saturday now. We're going to have it delivered Friday. Move it up a day. Um, I'm going to adjust it, though, because we definitely don't need bags. So I'm going to say... You don't need to bring any paper bags. We're just going to go zero on that one. We're going to have you bring, uh, let's say, one extra box of the soda cans and one extra box of pizza. That seems fine. Uh, burgers are getting a little low, but we don't sell as many of them. I think two boxes will be sufficient. And that'll be it. So that's going to be Friday's delivery. I like it. With $27,000, though, I think maybe now is an okay time. Since we have like a good amount of money and we definitely have good income, I think now is the time to start thinking about a headquarters and getting office stuff going, getting an HR manager to handle scheduling and things like that. So that as we expand and get a new business, I can then, you know, go out and go in and just have that person manage them as well as train them and things like that. HR managers handling training is a very convenient feature to have. It's not necessarily cheaper because you are paying for the office and the rent for that office and the actual employee and the employee benefits that they want and all that stuff. You're, you're still having to pay for everything that comes with the HR manager, but with that comes as a passive, they can train. So the earlier I can get a really solid HR team, the earlier I can start having really awesome employees and I can start looking at, again, the macro business where I can go in and, and establish new businesses as we go. So offices, let's check out where offices are located. We're just gonna hide those and just go offices for now. So we could go down to Fifth Avenue. Uh, we don't need a whole lot of traffic or anything like that. It's mostly just about how much space is available inside the building. And this one is okay. It's something, it's a good start. Like it's not something we would necessarily have forever, but it's a good start. Uh, there is also a little one right here. For just 10 bucks a day, we can have our tiny little hole in the wall HQ. I think I can afford something a little bigger than that. 
But I also think I kind of want something a little more, I don't know, right near the park. 113 bucks. How does that compare to this one over here? 73. So it's definitely more money, but you know, it's right next to the park. And if I ever want to go to my HQ to just check things out over, I could just take the subway. Boom. I'm right across the road. Go to the park. Everything's pretty good there. Uh, what about this one? 466. Oh yeah. That's the big one. We don't, we don't need that one. All right. I'm thinking that's where I'm going here. You know, I'm thinking that's where I'm going is, is right over there. And, uh, so to get that started, we are actually going to need to stop by AJ's. Say hi to his wife. Um, no, she's working for me now. <laughs> we'll say hi to her kid, her son. Uh, and, uh, we're going to need to buy office kinds of things, right? Things for the office. So I'm thinking we go maybe AJ doesn't really have office supplies like that though. Does he? That's why he's going out of business. If he had, if he had the right stuff, he, you know, he'd be, he'd be good to go. Uh, okay then. So I'm thinking maybe instead we can head all the way over here then to the essentials appliances. That's why they're going out of business. Essentials appliances is taking all their, all their stuff because they got the security stuff and like all the, the wooden bars and everything, man. Like I just, I really want to design a kick-ass nightclub, you know? I just, I don't think it's my next business because it's too expensive to get into, but I think if, if I just let it go for like a, a couple of weeks, I'd have like a hundred grand to start investing in and that might work. So to get started with that, we're going to need to go to an office supply store. And unfortunately, AJ's, well, they don't really sell the right stuff that we need anymore. All right. That's probably why they're going out of business. They just don't have what we need. And so we'll need to go to our good friend, Michael Scott who has excellent office supplies. But the thing is, Michael Scott used to be way out here, right? I'm driving way out here just to show you where it used to be, right? Jeez, Ingrid's goons are everywhere, I'm telling you. Anyway, Michael Scott used to be over here, uh, but he's not here anymore, okay? This is no longer Michael Scott's office supplies. Instead, we need to go down near the new area. We need to go down near the uh the lower manhattan area to get to michael scott's place now that's my fault my bad my bad my bad my bad sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry we're at 28 percent now i'm gonna have to pay for repairs on my van i don't want to do that i'm trying to avoid doing that because i'd like to use this van for my warehouse and uh i can easily just do that even if it has like one percent damage i can just throw it in the warehouse and it'll be usable so i'm trying to avoid paying for that but i need to uh Maybe drive just a tad bit more carefully to have that be happening. Anyway, we're going to drive down this way because Michael Scott's place is down over here in Murray Hill, right before Lower Manhattan. It might actually be, this might actually qualify as Lower Manhattan. Is that? Eh, yeah, he is technically in Lower Manhattan. So there you go. So that's where he is now, the new area. So we're going to take a right right here, go down to the grassy area and take a left. And then we will take a right at the roundabout which is right over here and yeah i'm gonna drive careful i don't want to pay the thousands of dollars it'll take to fix this thing oh yeah oh yeah so our other things are happening too okay fine cool here we go and uh michael scott's is right over here by this awesome globe looking thing uh, innovative imagery lower manhattan that's a big place there it is michael scott's office supplies so we're going to park right in front of that because, well, we want to unload into the van, but also because there's another place we need to go and that is the city workforce. Yeah. And that's right here as well. So $5 to park here, I guess is fine. City workforce is open as well. And uh, what we want to do with city workforce actually is to get uh, recruiting going for office employees. So I'm just going to really tag up on the desk really quick. I can go ahead and search it, but I'm just going to tag up so I can call them. And then uh, we'll have over here. Look at that. Look at his sign. I freaking love it. And Michael Scott's has gotten a bit of a facelift as well. Loving that. I'm just going to tag up on the store manager's desk really quick, which is probably Dwight. Assistant to the regional manager, right? Front facing guy. All right. So 
We can buy office desks, executive desks, meeting tables, computers, different cabinets and stuff. We have printers. Apparently, we're going to need those. <laughs> of course, we are. Water coolers, which are, you know, 211 bucks is pretty easy. Office lockers are over in this side. That's new. I don't remember those being a thing. Different computers, different desks, etc. And uh, and then we'll check out them. So I'm going to grab a few things that I know I'm going to need. But depending on the HR manager that I go with, they may not want the certain items that I'm buying. They sometimes are picky. So I'm going to take a standard office desk. And I'm going to take a, a regular old computer, I think. And then I'd really like to maybe get a cheaper chair. Not that multi-purpose chair. It's just a cheaper office chair would be good. These are these are very expensive. Sixteen hundred bucks. I mean that's. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I know chairs can cost that much, but at least it's not this one. The stump mesh office chair. Good lord, thirty five hundred. My chair is not that much. I have an embody. I'm, I'm sitting in a, an embody right now. I I mean it's expensive, right? But if you think about it, this is a chair that you're gonna be sitting in this thing. At least if you're like me and you're, you know, you're working a lot in that office at home you're gonna be sitting in that chair for five six maybe even more hours a day that chair has got to be ergonomic that chair has got to be comfortable it has to be healthy to sit in right like it has it's got to be good for your back and everything so um i've been dealing with cheap chairs pretty much my entire time making youtube videos i'm gonna get one of these plants i was just trying to figure out like what the fourth thing on my palette's gonna be you know i like to have a full palette you know so almost five thousand dollars on that but that's something i can have for my uh my office later uh okay anyway so i've been i've been dealing with cheap chairs for years uh on you know for this job and everything because you don't make much money but i, I i'm telling i'm getting older i don't i don't want to say it's an age thing but i'm getting older and i i was starting to have a little bit of back pain from my old chair because the lumbar support on it was gone um the arms the pads on the arms is like this proprietary chair arm design and i didn't want to pay the i think it was like 95 dollars for replacement arm pads i swear i'm getting cut off so much <laughs> people just jump right in front of you it's nuts anyway yeah i've been dealing with a bad uh you know chair for a long time so um right before tax write-offs could happen right like end of december i went ahead and purchased uh an embody uh, by Har by Herman Miller and you know it's it's an incredibly expensive chair it is probably is it is the most expensive thing I've ever paid for my office aside from like my computer components and uh I kind of weigh it like this the, the way I think of it is if I'm gonna spend for my job right if I was just gaming I wouldn't have spent this kind of money right but this is this is something I'm trying to make a career out of I need to invest in this be able to, to do the best I can uh, I don't want to be limited by technology if if I can help it and uh and so if i'm gonna spend you know sixteen hundred dollars on a graphics card right i think it's i think it's worth spending that much on this item this big item in my in my office that i am going to be using six hours plus a day and it has a direct impact on my health right i think that's probably worth it and uh so i went ahead and i bit the bullet if you will and bought it where's my where's my business at i'm I'm, I'm never i'm never where i'm supposed to be i took the wrong turn at albuquerque uh and uh anyway so I, i've done that and i have no regrets uh, in case anyone's wondering like whether or not the money was worth it i have no regrets this is by far the best chair i've ever sat in and uh it's comfortable every single time every single day and uh it's got a ridiculously long warranty on it so i'm 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 feeling good about the fact that it's protected for you know well over a decade Okay, so we're parking right here. It's just by the park. And I think I'm going to take this big building here as my HQ. We got this right here. Obviously, it's not the whole building. It's just a bit of a space in the building. But $113 daily rent, big deposit, big a bunch of electrical, all that stuff. Uh, so the initial payment's going to be $4,000. We're going to rent this building. And we're going to call this... Oh, hang on. Oh! Fundamentals of business education needs to be done before I can use it really okay uh is this free parking right over here because if it is i'll take it is it no it's still seven bucks okay well tell you what it's 9 30 in the morning i can finish that course 
I just don't want to pay for parking. <laughs> Cheap. Let's, uh, let's go finish the fundamentals of business course. I've done, I think at this point, I, I did a little bit between cuts. And uh, I think I'm maybe like a couple hours from finishing it. Honestly, this is the Manhattan Business School right here. Take a left. Should be free parking near this. I'm going to have to work on my parallel skills here. Here we go. Oh. Oh, there we go. And crank it, crank it. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. I think I just, yep, I definitely, yep, that's a broken taillight. <laughs> 24, 24% is what I got left on that van. Uh, here's the Manhattan Business School. Let's just finish the course. I should have enough energy and money and all that to do it. So I have five hours and 37 minutes remaining. So that is more than I thought. But we will take the entire study period right here. And done. We've now finished it. Now, Char's Fast and Fresh is going to soon run out of sodas and pizza. But remember, the delivery is coming tomorrow. So exactly how soon is soon, right? Let's take a look. Uh, their inventory right now. You know, they don't have a whole lot. It's They're probably going to run out today. But again, I do have more coming. So it looks like we really use a lot of soda pizza burgers i know we sell a lot of hot dogs too i'm thinking we don't need the french fry delivery so a real quick amendment to the deliveries here we're going to go up to french fries we're not going to deliver those because we didn't sell as many as i thought we would now that we've finished that course we can now start the business we can start at 15 third avenue our headquarters so for office businesses we got four choices, right? There's headquarters, law firm, graphic designer, and web development agency. We're going to use headquarters here. This allows us to get purchasing agents, logistics managers, HR managers, and as well as headhunters to find to find good people, right? And we're going to char this. We're going to call this one Char Inc. Just like uh, just like we had before, Char Inc. I think we probably just remove the comma though. I don't think we need that. So Char Inc. will be here. And uh, this is our headquarters. Now, again, we can also look at, you know, changing the settings right here. We can look at changing the logos and all these types of things. And I'm pretty sure we have a logo from the previous playthrough that was also Char Inc., right? So I should want to go find that and upload it. All right. So I found the files that we had before that would, you know, give us the, the signage and aesthetics that we... Uh, that we want for this but this building doesn't have anywhere to put those signs at least it doesn't appear that they do so uh if i go into the business manager right the, your headquarters appears over here you can see we got that custom logo right there at char, char incorporated custom logo right there um it, it doesn't show up here but it will show up in game and around places um but it, it doesn't <laughs> because the building we chose doesn't seem to have anywhere where it shows that uh, it doesn't have one of these like McCain's marketing right here uh it's possible I guess I should probably oh hang on you know what I can avoid a parking fee entirely if I just hop in the car for two seconds we're just gonna wait for it it's four o'clock we're good <laughs> no parking ticket for me no $7 parking fee for me. Uh, I want to look on this side of the building. Maybe the signage will appear on this side. It doesn't. So I, I picked the one building for HQ that just flat out won't show me the, the custom sign that I have. Ah, Maybe I can get... Maybe if I zoom way out, I can see it. But, well, it's fine. Whatever. Whatever. It's, it's fine. We're here. So uh, we want to set up a standard desk. And we're going to put the, I'm just going to put it over here for now. I don't necessarily care where everybody is like situated. I don't, I don't care. We're just going to do it. Uh, once we get like everything gets more full, then it matters more. Right? So we'll just plop a plant here, I guess. And then, uh, the last bit is the computer. And as soon as the computer is at the desk, now this whole thing ends up being a connected thing that, uh, we can put anywhere we want. So we'll just stick it over here on the side for now. And, that ends up being a place that we can have employees be stationed at. So if I go over to my headquarter, I can now go to schedule. There it is. And there is now a computer station that 
we can station somebody out, which is good. Real quick phone call then to Michael Scott's office supplies. I have a delivery that's pending now. We have 11 items coming to be delivered to Char Incorporated. And it'll be at 10 a.m. on Sunday. So it's going to take a couple days. I did that intentionally because it's a $10,000 order. And I didn't want to spend $10,000 right before my delivery for all my food and stuff happens. So I'm going to give it some time to make sure I have the money. But it says, all right, we'll do the delivery following your specifications. Thank you. And that's all there is to it right there. Uh, okay. So the next thing is I want to go uh, over to... Where is it? City Workforce. There it is. I'm going to make a phone call to them. Now that I've already tagged up, I can make a phone call to them whenever I want. And I want to say, Char Incorporated, find me a... We're going to want an HR manager. We're going to want a purchasing agent and a logistics manager. But for now, I'm going to focus on the HR manager because they can train my people. So we'll go and get like a list of maybe three candidates. And let's, let's, let's get like five different candidates over the next three days. I like it. So we'll pay for that and we'll see who the best candidate is for that. We only need one HR manager for now. So we'll try to find the best one for the job instead of the first one that pops up. And then other than that, though, um, that's kind of that's what I wanted to set up today. I wanted to set up the HQ. I wanted to set up deliveries, which is what I did. I wanted to back into that guy's car <laughs> at 22 percent now. Uh, and then I, I, did, I was thinking about getting a warehouse and stuff today. But I, like I said, with only one business, kind of don't need that kind of cost right the, a delivery fee of 400 bucks once a week or even twice a week is better than paying for the salaries for your logistics and purchasing agents it's and the uh the warehouse daily cost which is going to be over 100 bucks as is it's still cheaper to just take the deliveries from the where uh from the wholesaler at the moment than it is to go with the warehouse but once we get a second business, and I was thinking about getting a restaurant going in Hell's Kitchen, then we can have the same items for both businesses, right? So, like, for example, if I was to go to Hell's Market Insider, if I go to Hell's Kitchen and look at the demand, we can see that hot dogs are in pretty high demand over there, too. Still only one business selling them, which is interesting. We can do a bakery and get cupcakes going. Chicken kebab skewers at 99% as well. So, like, a restaurant over there could work pretty well if you scroll down a little bit french fries pizza burgers these are all above 70 percent so i can get a restaurant going in hell's kitchen next and it could be pretty much the same thing the pretty much the same branding all that stuff right we just uh, essentially it's another char's fast and fresh it's just in a different neighborhood right and um yeah we can we can have the same items and then we start getting purchasing agents and logistics and all that stuff set up so that we can have this stuff in high quantities in stock in a warehouse and just keep our stores stocked every day right just kind of have our people work on that for us so that we can oversee it but don't have to like manually make the trips so that's the next step in growing our business real quick checks looks like my opponents are starting to adjust their prices a little bit huh so i'm gonna have to start reacting to market forces here a little bit um the market force in this case being my competition um 28 uh let's go with 28 50. i'm gonna really undercut your prices on pizza although i'm having a hard time keeping them in stock right so maybe doing that it's late in the day we might sell out we might we probably will sell out but it's late in the day let's adjust that delivery again i'm gonna say what do we got chicken kebab skewers we have 768 of them let's Let's take one box of those. We'll hit five boxes of pizzas. And we'll say the next box is going to be probably yeah, burgers, I guess. No, sodas. Well, we're already getting six boxes of soda. We're fine. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Um, I'm going to, you know, check in on my business really quick here. Go to sleep. Do all the things. Make sure all the deliveries work. And then uh, when we get hires, when we get the recruitment and stuff when they find people for hr we'll uh look at the candidates and get them hired and we'll start going off from there okay thanks for watching i appreciate you guys we'll see you bye, -bye.